Mr. President, Mr. Speaker, Madam Prime Minister, Ministers, Excellencies, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored and delighted to welcome you to the ninth Blade Strategic Forum entitled The Power of Trust, traditionally held at Bled, a town referred to as the national symbol and the Alpine jewel of Slovenia. At the outset of this year's forum, you have just listened to the Slovenian Police Orchestra performing the Bled Strategic Forum theme. Beyond any doubt, we will continue our deliberation in an equally inspiring way. Trust and confidence, alongside with values, have become increasingly pressing issues in our changing world at national, regional, and global levels. Hence, if we wish to progress and live in a different, that is a better world, we need to find necessary courage and wisdom, change the paradigm of distrust, and regain mutual trust. The 2014 Bliss Strategic Forums aims at exploring the power of trust and searching for answers on what happens when trust is scarce. Under the title Demographic Change, Another Threat or an Opportunity, the first panel will tackle one among the greatest social and economic challenges of the 21st century. An enhanced intragenerational dialogue is of vital importance as the life of the older and of the younger generation have become increasingly interwoven and interdependent. The second panel, entitled The Spirit of Central Europe, will address the definition of Central Europe and the elements of its identity, the importance of regional cooperation and the existing cooperation platforms, as well as the power of Central Europe and its position and influence within Europe and the wider international community. The third panel, Contemporary Threats, Cyber Security, will address one of the main tools in a globalized world. The cyberspace issues are becoming increasingly important to global security and stability, ensuring cybersecurity, protecting fundamental rights, democracy, and the rule of law in cyberspace have to become the primary challenges for the governments, the business sector, and civil society, both of national and international level. One of our traditional topics at the Blade Strategic Forum is the subject of Western Balkans. This year is no exception, and the fourth panel will address the vital significance of enhancing trust aimed at achieving effective and vivid regional cooperation. To accomplish this, the countries of the region and the European Union have to work together in translating common regional needs into concrete projects with tangible benefits for the citizens of each country and for overall dynamics and progress on the region's Euro-Atlantic journey. Despite the dire economic situation, more than 35 domestic and foreign corporate partners and sponsors recognize the importance of this year's forum, granting us their unconditional trust and offering full support. Allow me to thank especially our three strategic partners, PMVW Group Slovenia, Generali, and Rico. Special thanks go also to the media partners, Slovene Press Agency, Newspaper Delo, and Television Slovenia. And finally, I would like to express a warm welcome to all those watching the live broadcast of this event on Television Slovenia. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Slovenian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Karel Rjavec, who will deliver his welcome address. Mr. Minister, the floor is yours. The President of the Republic of Slovenia, Mr. Borut Pachor, the President of National Assembly, Dr. Milan Burles, the Prime Minister, Magister Alenka Bratusek, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to welcome you all the ninth edition of the Blitz Strategic Forum. 
this high level international conference aims to promote strategic dialogue and to provide platforms for discussing pressing global issues. It's a meeting point for prominent audience from politics, business, academia, media, and non-governmental sector. I would like to underline that this year we are happy to host guests from more than 60 countries and international organizations. As the forum is entitled, The Power of Trust, it will address the growing sense of mistrust in today's world. We should do more to underline the importance of trust on all levels of our societies. We all know that trust is very easy to lose and that is very difficult to get it back. But I also believe that without trust, there is no dialogue, no development and no prosperity. More than ever in our history, the globalization has linked people from different cultures, different social spheres, and different legal frameworks. In modern economies, the degree of trust must be high and strong. Today, we face the lack of trust in some key institutions and in world leaders. This is the magic for economic growth. The general distrust in business will create a climate of economic uncertainty. Without trust, we will not be able to address any of the today's key global challenges. In order to find acceptable, sustainable, and fair global solutions, the world leaders need to be trusted. Over the past years, two important additions were introduced to the Blade Strategic Forum, the Young Forum and the Business Forum. It's clear that discussion about current challenges and the future solutions cannot happen without the private sector and the generation of future leaders. Promising young leaders were talking about the potential of trust over the past weekend. They also competed to find the best solution for Slovenia's forest management. The business forum tomorrow will highlight the essence of trust in the corporate world. The focus will be on finding balance between different parts of Europe, including the connection of the Southeast Europe in the infrastructure network of the European Union. The participants will also discuss India and the business opportunities it represents. At the same time, they will highlight the role of technological innovation as a major driving force of economic growth. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take this opportunity also to thank our sponsor and partners, especially the three strategic sponsors, BMW Group Slovenia, Generali, and Rico. Let me thank the other representatives of the Slovenian economy and also foreign companies in Slovenia which have kindly offered their support to the forum. With their support, they see the forum's value and the opportunities it offers. To conclude, this year's Blade Strategic Forum will try to prove that despite globalization, technology, digital tools, and fast, dramatic changes, the good old trust is still the basics of power that make it all possible. Solidarity between generations, security for individuals and states, business contracts, international relations. Only with trust, we can build a strong, prosperous, and secure world for more than seven, seven billion uh, people. I'm very pleased that over the years, we have gained your trust and, and that thanks to your growing interest, the Blitz Strategic Forum has developed into one of the leading conferences in the region. I thank you for this trust, for your participation, and for all the ideas that you are willing to
to share with us. Thank you and all the best. Thank you, Mr. Minister. I can fully agree with what you have pointed out. Trust is a gift, it's not a right. It's something you have to earn and spend a lifetime trying to keep because one small mistake and the gift is gone. Therefore, we should all learn the principles of trust and apply wisdom in our everyday life. The Business Blend Strategic Forum will highlight the essence of trust in business essential to generating adequate social capital and sustainable economic growth. The panel entitled Interconnecting Southeast Europe will focus on finding balance between different parts of Europe and how to connect the region to the infrastructure and energy networks of the European Union. The panel India and Southeast Europe will explore business opportunities between India and the region and how to make the best use of platforms such as India Central Europe Business Forum. The two regions can definitely create a vast sea of opportunities, but the question that arise here are who, how, and when? And also, can Slovenia, for example, become a gateway for Indian business expansion to Central and Southeast Europe? The panel Startup New Technology will be devoted to the role of technological innovations as the major driving force of economic growth. We will seek answers on how new technologies come to life, where they come from, and what the role of Technologic Parks, Center of Excellence, and Startup Incubator is. Finally, a special discussion under the title The Power of Tourism, dealing with international relations and economic exchange will focus on how the promotion of tourism and its process of localization can influence stability and development and how to achieve the highest possible level of trust in the region of Southeast Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, an idyllic landscape, welcoming people and infinite peace are the main qualities of the hosting municipality of Bled. As such, it provides a perfect setting for high level meetings and stimulating discussions. Last year, referring to the beauties of Blade, one of our keynote speakers, Professor Jean-Pierre Lehmann, founding director of the Evian Group said, I quote, we should not be talking about the globalization of Blade, but of bladalization of the globe. Let us listen to some words about the beautiful town of Blade by its mayor, Mr. Janus Pfeiffer, who has been a loyal friend of the forum since its second edition in 2007. Mr. Mayor, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, dear President, Presidents, ex and present, Prime Minister, President of our National Assembly, Excell Excellencies, I can say everybody here in the hall being here for more than 50 years, can you imagine this is old already? And I was here welcomed as a Tito's pioneer. He's 62 in this front line, so it is a long life. Well, today I'm afraid you might got a wrong impression on us. When you are coming to Blade, you saw some uh, inscriptions. We All we wanted to do was to warn and to make you aware how much we want to give an even, make an even better environment for all of you. Not only for this conference, which is far the most important we have in a year, but for everyone. We need this bypass road terribly. And we said we should warn you. I hope you don't mind. It's not organized by me, but we are a democratic country, at least so we are a shoot over and over. So we use these rights. I'm very lucky to have the chance to talk as a representative, elected representative, of common people. We are only 8,200 inhabitants here in Blade, and this is really a big problem because we are stuck with traffic. And uh, it's only 30 and some millions to spend, and all the papers are done, and I hope this will find the right ears. Uh, I know ministers and governments change, but the official state, 
we are all elected me to mayor I might go in five weeks from now nobody knows but everyone else in municipality will stay and we have to find a way to make these people believe that they can do a bit more for what they are paid for this was all our message we wanted to do nothing against you and I don't we talk about trust today I hope we, you trust us on and feel most welcome here in these surroundings even though we also welcome you with the Siberic circumstances. It's snowing up to 1500 meters. Never happened as long as I remember before. But your debates, your goodwill might warm it up and in spite of wet temperatures, use the surroundings, use the environment, talk to each other and help us all making a better world from small to big. Thank you very much and welcome again. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm convinced that our guests have already captured the feelings of Bled, the Blue Lake, the surrounding green forests, and the secretive silence of the Julian Alps. This peaceful oasis and mystical place in the middle of Europe will hopefully evoke pleasant memories and desire to return someday. This year, young Bled Strategic Forum brought together diverse young leaders of different backgrounds, young entrepreneurs, civil ser servants and leading politicians, prominent representatives of non-governmental and academic institutions, think tank and researchers, who have all demonstrated great leadership qualities and potential in their respective fields of activities. Already last week, the Young BSF Business Case Competition investigated strategies, improvements and ideas for the Slovenian forest management. During the weekend, the Young BSF Camp focused on the potential of trust between different social axes. What they have discussed and looked upon will be presented during today's special panel. Ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to invite our keynote speaker, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Dr. Milan Burgles, to take the floor. Please, Mr. Speaker. Dear Mr. President of the Republic of Slovenia, dear Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you also in my behalf to this year's already ninth Bled Strategic Forum. Veseli me, da je tekom let Sloveniji uspelo strateškemu forumu Bled utrditi tako mesto med konferencami in forumi na območju srednje in shodne Evrope, da danes predstavlja enega izmed pomembnejših forumov za razprave o izzivih sodobne mednarodne skupnosti ter priložnost za izmenjavo dragocenih informacij in izkušenj. Sebinsko je Strateški forum Bled tradicionalno sledil aktualnim dogajanjem globalnih skupnosti in odražal trenutno problematiko mednarodne skupnosti ter na ta način osvetljiv izzive, s katerimi se moramo soočiti. In tako je tudi letos. Ne nazadnje pa forum hkrati predstavlja tudi odlično priložnost za poglobitev odnosov med državami in iskanje nadaljnih možnosti medsebojnega sodelovanja. Svet se ne nehno sooča z najrazličnejšimi izzivi in posledično tudi stalno spreminja. Politike držav pa so zato vse bolj upete v širše dogajanje. Čeprav je veljalo v 20. stoletje za stoletje izjemnega, skoraj neslutenega napredka, smo tudi danes v 21. stoletju priča tektonskim spremembam. Hitro rastroče gospodarstva selijo pole rasti na drug konec zemljske oblje, posledično pa medkulturni stiki še bolj pridobivajo na pomenu. Države se soočajo z novo realnostjo, spremenjeno vlogo, ki jim jo narekujejo novi, izrazito močni nedržavni akterji, hkrati pa je izjemen razvoj digitalnih tehnologij povzročil neverjetne spremembe na praktično vseh področjih življenja. Spreminjajo se torej tehnologije, posledično pa tudi družba in njen način delovanja. Svoje pa je naredila še mednarodna gospodarsko-finančna kriza, ki ni zamajala le za upanje v svetovno gospodarstvo, mednarodne finančne trge in medsebojno sodelovanje, 
temveč tudi razgalila nepredvidljivost globalne ekonomije, ter številne institucionalne in administrativne pomankljivosti. Vse na šteto v držav oziroma njihovih politik terja nenehno prilagajanje v smislu učinkovitega ter uspešnega vodenja in iskanja možnosti uveljavljanja novih pravil igre v tej spremenjeni globalni realnosti. Med seboj na razmerja moči in odnosi med mednarodnimi akterji so se v zadnjih desetletji obrnili na glavo. Kapital in finančne institucije so skupaj z mutnimi nacionalkami postali glavni narekovalci doganja, zato je na mestu vprašanje, v kolikšni meri so države splohše soverene in ključni akterji v mednarodni skupnosti, kot so bile pred desetletji. Verjamem, da kljub samo alternative obstoječi globalni ureditvi obstajajo, predvsem pa so nujne. Obstajajo možnosti in načini, da države ponovno prevzamejo vlogo, ki jim pripada, predvsem pa morajo, kot so pokazali tudi zadnji dogodki, ponovno prevzeti predvsem skrb za razvoj družbe kot celote in dobrobit svojih državljanov. Oblikovati je treba nov globalni red, ki bo preprečil ekcese, s kakšna je bila zadnja finančno-gospodarska kriza. Tukaj pa lahko prav zakonodajalci, torej nacionalni parlamenti, odigramo veliko in pomembno vlogo. Zato me še posebej veseli, da ima tokrat na tokratnem strateškem forumu Bled svoje mesto tudi državni zbor Republike Slovenije. Zakonodajalci lahko namreč s prejemom ustrezne zakonodaje po eni strani in z doslednim izvajanjem svoje nadzorne funkcije na dezašilno vejo oblasti po drugi strani postavimo potrebne in nujne okvire, ki bodo preprečevali finančne ekcese, katerih posledice čutimo še danes. Pri tem pa sta nujna tako medsebojno zaupanje, kot tudi meddržavno sodelovanje. Na tem mestu izpostavim Sredno Evropo. Tosti čišče različnih kultur in tradicij je kljub svoje raznolikosti ali pa prav zaradi nje v preteklosti že predstavljalo osrednji prostor pomiritve med vzhodom in zahodom oziroma most za preseganje ideološkega prepada. Raznolikost je namreč izjemna prednost srednjevropskega prostora. Je ključen strateški dejavnik razvoja tega območja, prav zato pa lahko Sredna Evropa danes predstavlja tudi motor nadaljnega sodelovanja in zaupanja. Pri tem pa lahko zlasti Slovenija svojo petost v Srednjo Evropo in istočasnim poznavanjem jugovzhodne evropske regije deluje kot most in pospeševalec, kot gonilna sila tega povezovanja. Potrebujemo torej veliko trde volje, odločenosti in vstrajnosti, predvsem pa preobrat v vrednostnem sistemu, kjer mora skupno dobro zameniti oske interese posameznika, posamezne finančne institucije, gospodarske družbe ali države. Pri tem pa neizbežno trčimo ob problem pomankanja zaupanja. Kriza je namreč zamajala temelje zaupanja na nele znotraj držav, ampak tudi med samimi državami. Tudi zaradi pomankanja zaupanja, ki je sicer osnova dobrih odnosov, pa so zunanje politične naloge danes težje, kot so bile nekoč. Vendar pa bo prihodnje ključna prav ponovna spustovitev zaupanja, ki je bilo v preteklih letih veliki meri zapravljeno in zgubljeno. Žal je zaupanje veliko lažje izgubiti, kot ga pridobiti ali povrniti. Skupni projekti, ki bodo prispevali k dobrobiti vseh akterjev oziroma deležnikov, pa so tisti, ki lahko v veliki meri to oslabljeno zaupanje ukrepijo in ga postavijo na nove trde temelje. Nezaupanja namreč vodi le še večje nezaupanje in preprečuje vzajemno koristno sodelovanje. Brez trdnega medsebojnega sodelovanja pa v današnji globalni skupnosti za znamovanje so odvisnostjo in najrazličnejšimi povezami na prav vseh področjih delovanja ne moremo računati na razvoj in napredek. Spoštovani, naj na tem mestu nakratko omenim še enega izmed številnih izzivov, ki ga bo že na delevanju tega vodnega dela na strateškem forumu deležen poseben pozornosti in sicer filozofija vodenja. Gre namreč za tematiko, ki je v širšem osredotočenju na družbene in tehnološke spremembe ter gospodarsko, finančne in geostrateške izzive večkrat spregledana. Novo vodenje že mora da terjati hitrejše in bolj proaktivno delovanje, takšno, ki se pravočasno in ustrezno odziva na zunanje dogajanje, ki uspe zaznati pravo smer teh sprememb in to izkoristiti. Verjamem pa, da je poleg zaznavanja, odzivnosti in prilagajanja novim okoliščinam za dobro vodenje še vedno ključna skrb za dobrobit družbe, in pripadnost temeljnim univerzalnim vrednotam, sposobnost združevanja različnih interesov in občutka, kaj je prav, orientiranost prihodnost in zmožnost preseganja oskih sebičnih interesov. Esteemed guests, 
coping with challenges also means searching for solutions and ways out. In our case, also planning the direction of future developments of states and the relations between them and other international players. Let me therefore conclude my introduction by wishing you many successful and above all innovative and substantially rich debates. I'm certain that they will make a valuable contribution to addressing the challenges of modern times. Thank you for your attention.